what's going on everybody welcome back uh to another gundam review uh as you know a few weeks ago we did play the gundam network test on pc uh but since then right we are a little late as you can see this came out april 27th which is my birthday which was my birthday i turned 25 on this day so this was bandai's namco personal birthday gift to me uh the proof is in the pudding numbers don't lie but of course i'm here with kojin favorite co-host of the stream we're gonna be talking about some of the changes that they made to certain Gundams, as well as the survey, uh, which I partaked in, of how people enjoy certain game modes, how people enjoy certain Gundams, and they throw in a few fun facts on most played Gundams and the top players and all that. But to start out with, right, so Bandai Namco is super invested in this game uh, as you can read here right there so happy about people who enjoy the pc closed network test and they're bringing a network test to console as well to try to see if aim assist and how games can control on um on controller right because the game will be cross-platform so they want to make sure the game is balanced before it comes out unlike most games that come out a broken mess and they patch it through ban amco is one step ahead of the curve uh kojin do you yeah what, what was your what was your idea of Gundam Barbados? My idea. Well, yeah. Well, how would you say your um, interaction with Gundam Barbados was? Oh, he was just he was just good. I don't think I've ever like if you see a Barbados, I think you should just stay away from him. No, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> as best as you Get can. Get like, away from that man. To be reckoned with. So luckily, a lot of people had the same concept as you as they thought Barbados was really good. So Bandai Namco mm. is nerfing Barbados, right? Which is a prayer to be heard of a top tier getting nerfed right away before the game even comes out. Certain moves like mm. turn eight Gundams, uh, as you say, his judo flip and Murasai's okay. Murasai's grapple. What would you call it? What it's a judo flip? Do you not I think would, so? Yeah, yeah. Would, what would no, you call no, it? What think, a I somersault? Called, I think it's quite literally called the judo <laughs> flip, something like that, like in the game. Right. So stuff like that actually didn't even work, and they were supposed to be counters to Barbados. So which means even if you try to counter pick Barbados, your ability just didn't work, right? Which is what happens in a network test, right? Some stuff mm -hmm. doesn't work. That's what people write about. Like, hey, I tried to flip Barbados, and then he hit me with the instant kill combo. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Right, so, uh, and then and then this is a really fun fact that is self-explanatory, but I guess they felt the need to say it, which is the rate distribution was random, which allowed players with high skills and people with low skills to be easily matched. Um, so I guess that, so as you know, if you played the network test or if not, there was only rank mode in the network test and this was saying like high level barbados players were most likely getting matched up with low level players and mm -hmm. beating the hell out of them because they don't know yeah. how to deal with a good barbados right and i feel like in this game if you're a gundam specialist you you shine right like me and sasabi kojin with gm sniper zarf who unfortunately can't make it uh in this video mm -hmm. he was good with gundam right and all this other stuff so yeah. they're so they're, they're changing barbados they're gonna they're gonna tweak them around but they love and this is this is the best part though is we aim to make these adjustments while keeping the parts of the parts players love them about, about barbados as much as possible they're not gonna nerf barbados into the ground right he's still gonna be a powerhouse because yeah. he's the only gundam without a gun right but they'll probably make his insta kill combo only kill half <laughs> of the cast right the lower level half mm -hmm. versus him one shotting the tanks that seems a little bit unfair uh turn a gundam oh it is called it's called judo overhead throw oh close enough close yeah enough. We're, we're close there's a word close. judo in it I'm okay. it has the word judo the the correct term and i'm going to mispronounce this is tomo and nagi tomo and nagi tomo and nagi I'm I'm not a I'm not to pronounce it. What a, what a oh, I'm there, more. Um, you ever watch Jujutsu Kaisen? You ever watch You ever watch Jujutsu Kaisen? Yes. Not the Mayo. I know. 
I know these. I know. Yeah, it's it's all, it's all there. Um, yeah. So turn eight Gundam, which I didn't really enjoy, but um, some people I guess did enjoy it. But they, like I said, they're fixing his his judo flip to properly work. Uh, they're increasing, they're improving the bullet speed on his beam rifle. Uh, when you fully charge it up, which I think is pretty good. And improve and improve usability of Moonlight Butterfly. Moonlight Butterfly was his G maneuver. I don't remember what their ultimates were called. G maneuver, where you turn into a literal mm. butterfly and you fly around. It seemed pretty good. I died to it a few it times. Good. It was pretty good. But I lackluster overall compared to some of the other ultimates, in my opinion. They do have these cool videos that I'm going to show. That show okay. the judo flip working. And... That's that's really just the the judo flip video, and they show that they're making the judo flip faster and it throws further, and it works against Barbados when he's charging up his move right on the right side. As you see, Barbados has his charge, it fucking yeeted, and I think they're adding invincibility to it as well. Uh, from the video, you can see when the first turn a Gundam does the like flip nano skin. yeah he's not glowing and on the second one he is glowing so I think they're adding invincibility so that way it's a uh, just a very useful move Murasai not many of us played Murasai Murasai seemed like a cool Gundam but he didn't seem like he fit his role very well if you if you want to add on to that coach and if you know what I mean yeah I, I don't think he played that role as well as I mean, I think it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, I don't know. He was just, I feel like he could have been so much better if he had a different gun. That's it. That's it. I just feel like having the grapple, I would tie it to being a close range, up in your face kind of character. But he was like, I don't know. I feel like he played best mid range. It was weird. The crazy thing is like what you just said about him, how about his gun being different is this, this is not going to happen, but they should have gave this gun to Sasabi and the shotgun to Murasai. That would have yeah. been that would have been it, right? Because like like we're saying, Murasai's gun is not the best. It's not the most accurate. It's not the strongest. It's like very, very basic. It's a very basic it's only rifle. Accurate if you ADS. Yeah. And it's but it. even then, right, if you ADS, you're uh you're not throwing out your abilities. You're not yeah. moving as fast, right? So mm -hmm. but they did realize that his serpent toe or a sea serpent, which is his scorpion get over here move, row hogs mm -hmm. hook. Uh, they did buff it. There is a video here, as we can see. They you just it just goes way faster, which I mm -hmm. felt is useful because uh, Exia, Barbados, Pale Rider, right? All these yeah. multi dash Gundams. You, <laughs> yeah. you just you just you dodge it. And then now you're in his face. He has a he has a worse gun than you. The whole point of this is to hit him with the, his other ability, which he stabs you and does big boy damage and a stun. Yeah. Uh, GM sniper, Kojin. How do you how do you feel about these changes? Um, I don't really have a problem with them. I feel like sniper is a pretty like precise character. So them doing that, I like making it harder to hit you know what i mean like yeah to actually hit your crits i don't really mind you know i feel like i'll still be hitting crits not really a big deal to me damn but this man other people he said he said watch your head be, <laughs> other people might be a bit more mad and angry i was happy that i didn't change the gun to like it has to charge up before you shoot or i'm happy they didn't change the damage it's more so just being harder to hit you know what i mean so yeah. I, I, that i'm happy about so i actually don't really mind this change of that, course, I would keep it the way it was, because it'd be easier, obviously. But yeah, yeah of I course, really of course, mind. Yeah. It's still, it's not a big deal to me. The best part, though, is once again, like Bandai Namco cares about their people, right? Very similar to how they said they're not gonna change what makes Barbados great or what people like Barbados. Mm -hmm. They they say they say it word for word. Of first of all, I don't intend to change the concept of gm2 sniper which can defeat most units in a single shot by critical hit this is by design and expected by development team they're they're saying hey he has a sniper he shoots you in the head you're going to die yeah. that's his that's yeah. his that's that his makes game a plan. lot of sense right yeah. 
we're not gonna make the sniper a two shot headshot. That's stupid, right? There, yeah. but what they did was what Kojin was talking about was they made the crit spot slightly smaller, and I think they're making his bullet width slightly smaller, so it's oh, harder to hit the crit hard. spot. Yeah, so they're they're keeping it's it not still be the his same. Scan anymore, or like close to his scan, maybe a little bit further. Um, overall, they're talking about how. They're also considering other units not in this block. So, you know, Sasabi might be receiving a nerf. Who, uh, well, well, actually, we'll talk about who most likely will be receiving a nerf versus who will likely be receiving a buff in the network test, right? This is a good transition to go over to the network test. Um, these are the survey results. This is how people felt about the game, how they felt about the units, the graphics, right? Now, this is where Bandai Namco... <laughs> They, they they let it out to the public, right? And not we we were high twenty one hundred rating, which you'll see later puts us in the very like top five percent of the of the player base. But you know, there's a lot of cas there's a lot of filthy casuals out there, <laughs> uh, and you know this is open to everybody, right? So overall, the general game impressions, right? We won't harp on it too much. A lot of people like the game. A lot of people really like the game. A lot of people thought the game was okay. Very few people thought the game was bad. Unit controls, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people really liked it. Average, right? Overall, all of the stuff on the game, the clarity of the game rules, the graphics, clarity of UI, sounds, everybody enjoyed, right? Which is what I mm -hmm. like because that means that Bandai Namco, as a company, can they can only improve. If they add new stuff, that's better, right? But they already have such a great base. You know, it's like taking a pop tart, yeah. right? And then you add peanut mm -hmm. butter, right? You didn't you didn't need uh, to add peanut butter, but yeah, you added you peanut butter, need that, right? But and it made it better, right? You, it. you can get away with it, right? But you already got the pop tart. People like the pop tart. People like the pop tart filling. Everything was fine. Some people didn't like the pop tart because they just don't like strawberry, right? But overall, people mm -hmm. like strawberry filling in their pop tart. And this is, I think, this is a great move. Uh, people, and then down here, these are some of the notes, right, taken from the survey. Uh, I like yeah. I like aim assist when using the gamepad on PC, which is good because that means when they go to console, they already have an aim assist in works. They can make it better, right? They can make it better. Uh, some people were saying negative stuff, but not in a negative, negative way. They said, I've been forcefully disconnected from the client right now. Bandit Namco can be like, okay, how do we make people not crash? Yeah. Um, like all this, all this other stuff. Uh, they uh, they also there was like like we said before there was only a rank system in uh, Gundam and they already said we will make adjustments to the system taking into account the feedback gather over the course of network test right so the one mode that yeah. they have right now they said okay we the rank system was good in my eyes I felt like when you lost you gain points when you won um, when you lost you lost points when you won you gain points there's not much you can yeah. change yeah, from there like a... but I guess they're like hey we're gonna make it better. Um, obviously there were reports of harassment. Gamers are very, uh, not all gamers are nice people, yeah. right? They probably, yeah. there's, you know, they, they, they were, you know what? They're probably the gamers on the other team that we fought because we were stomping. <laughs> we were stomping these kids. Um, I'm telling you right now, we were, we were stomping and, uh, just to prove that, let me, let me pull up this photo real quick. Let me pull up this photo. Uh, open original. Look at this. This is me right here. 57 eliminations, 57k damage. I'm out here. I'm I'm bopping these boys, right? I'm bopping these boys. We were we were putting in work. Okay, well, that's uh not intended. It'd be like that. Background noises happens. So now we're gonna talk about the units. Uh, a lot of units, as you can see, though they they did include a did i didn't play feature which is pretty nice because i definitely i think i checked maybe one or two of them i don't think i ever played dom uh which i guess was a mistake as we'll learn later on there's a dom broken <laughs> um how do you how do you feel about the the unit ratios throughout the it? unit ratios are fucking memes <laughs> that's what they are <laughs> the unit yeah. ratios are memes so Pale Rider, obviously being this just normal assault rifle Gundam, mm -hmm. everybody who it's did very, play them like them. Relatable. Everybody who played them liked them, right? Only mm -hmm. uh, a two point two percent 
of bad and very bad added up, right? Everybody, he has a gun, he shoots the gun, he has a grenade, pretty good. Gundam, that's the classic from the anime, it's the, what's the, what's the show named after, right? Uh, people yeah. liked him a lot. Zaku 2, people like Zaku 2, right? A, a lot of people who tend to play these Gundams like them. Except for the one we're going to talk about, which is the most broken Gundam. Gundam Barbados had the highest very bad and bad ratio. Yeah, which, which is, is the bogus. craziest <laughs> thing. You want to you wanna talk about why he was so good, Koji? Why he was so good? I mean, there's not much to say. Dude just slaps you. If he has his, if he has, his abilities are up, you're getting slapped. <laughs> Crazy. You're getting slapped around. Right. Now, granted, this is the... Once again, Barbados is receiving a nerf, right? As, as we talked about in the last. He's receiving a change. But the data shows that apparently he's the worst <laughs> character in the game, yeah, right? Apparently he's, he's the trash. worst. He's the worst <laughs> character in the so game. Like, 70 to 80 percent of the player base he's just garbage i guess uh next we're going to sasabi who once again easy character right he has an access stuns he has a shield he has a strong weapon he has a great ultimate right overall super easy character overall very good the next one mm -hmm. some of the f next gundams we talk about it throws like interesting yeah it's <laughs> Methus <Actually>, Methus <laughs> with a 21 percent and a 27 percent very good good ratio i don't understand this is that this is what i'm talking I about know, I, I don't get I it i don't agree I don't this agree. character sucks so much his his turret is slightly good his turret is slightly good <laughs> his ultimate is trash you still die to the worst character in the yeah. game even if your ultimate is popped it makes like i don't know who I don't know what Ooh, substance what is. What I don't know what what, 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 what substance was in their system to make them click very good. I don't know that it make this character is hot commodity of garbage. Uh, once again, GM Sniper, who's also receiving a slight nerf, had one of the other biggest percentages of bad, very bad, seven point five bad, four point six very bad, um, which is crazy. Cause yeah. he's a one shot kill, like from from yeah. long distance on these giant robots. Mm -hmm. Crazy, uh, but overall, Gundam. If you did play him, average good to good ratio. Everybody seemed to enjoy him. Next one, once again, Asamar. Forty twenty five percent of the people <laughs> didn't even touch this dude, but somehow Corner the other the one of the twenty five <laughs> said good. <laughs> this character, once again, very similar to Methus. Who, but dude's got a better good rating and a better. Yeah. <laughs> this character's also pretty bad, but somehow pe he's better than Methus, but people don't think that yeah. way. But I don't know. It's crazy. Dom Trooper. Not a lot of people played. Uh, good, good, average, very good, right? Overall, Dom was there. He's very. He has a very forgettable design, in my opinion. He looked really. Like, I feel like his Gundam just lacks personality. I think it just lacks personality. I think right? like. I think it, I think it's pretty cool. I think it. La I think he looks like a it's jobber. Like a cool little eye thing. I think he looks like a jobber. I think he. <laughs> I think he would like if there was like a Gundam. Like RPG, right? Mm -hmm. Like Pokemon instead of Weedles, you run into <laughs> Doms. You know, like, ah, oh, damn, oh, yeah. another Dom. He's, uh, like, he's like the henchman. Yeah, he's, <laughs> the henchman. You know, he's like, defeat 20 Doms to fight the boss. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's very, he's just, he's just, he's just a jobber. Uh, but overall, I, I will see later that apparently he's really good, but I don't, I don't know. Turn A Gundam, who's receiving some buffs. Uh, like, and well respected because he has the, one of the also highest bad, very bad ratings. The lowest very good rating, I believe. I think he has the lowest very good at 8.5, which is respectable. I think like only a certain, like a very small percentage of people. I think really it was people who didn't fight game. Barbados and their judo flip work. Yeah, they, they, they must have like figured it out before everyone else. Yeah, they're like, like oh, oh, yeah. oh, dude, this judo flip's overpowered. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is everybody hating on this guy? His gun's bad. His ultimate was bad. His judo flip didn't work, right? The dude is... The dude wasn't good, all right? But all he's getting fixed. He's getting fixed. That's the point of it, right? We told him, hey, yeah. this dude's bad. He's getting fixed. But granted, 23% of people didn't play him. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm looking at it. It's who didn't play. Because it was a free-to-play game with nothing on the line. Network test. Yeah. So for you to not even pick a character means that they must have been just so uninteresting in your eyes. Which is yeah. which is respectable. Because the next two also didn't get much play, and that's Gun Tink and GM. Both of these yeah. average of the mill Gundams. Uh useful in their Tink. own right. Yeah, I was say they're both pretty good in their own. You know little things, what I would but... hate the most you know what I would hate the most in life? Mm. Is let's yeah. say like me, you and Zarv. Are like in Gundam boot camp, you know, and mm -hmm. they're like, Kojin, your Gundam is Gundam Barbados. And you're like, ah, oh, sick, yeah, you know. And then Zarf is like, hey, Zarf, you got, you know, Gundam. And Zarf's like, oh, yeah, let's go. And they're like, Arroyo, you got Gun Tank. I'm blowing my brains <laughs> out, dude. I'm not making it to here. I'm not making it past graduation. Because <laughs> if you thought Dom was a jobber, you have to fight 20 Gun Tanks to fight a Dom, all right. He's not. He's not. <laughs> this is the. Dude, the dude doesn't even have legs, man. He's on. He's on tank wheels. Dude's bro. on treads, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, good unit though. Overall, good unit. Yeah, good but, unit. He actually dude, is pretty good. Just, that design though, dude. I would. He just looks. <laughs> It's Joe like Smoke. it's like in Star Wars when you're the white clone trooper and you look over and there's a red clone trooper with a mohawk. You know you're gonna die in the battle. Yeah. You know you're gone first. You're like, you know he has, he has some right? kind of stone. That's if you show bozo. up to the battlefield and gun tank and a fucking sasabi comes down from the sky in the anime, you're like, well, he's gonna kill 15 of us yeah. before he makes it to Exia, and then they're gonna have a fucking monologue. You're like. Uh, GM, uh, good Gundam. Uh, I think his gun could be a little bit better. His gun does pretty solid damage, though. I'll give it that. It pretty is, good. I, it's not bad. It's just, it's, he has the, he's more like the, who's the I Blitz? Like he's more like a... Blitz from, mm -hmm. uh, Rainbow Six? Yeah. He has the yeah, shield, holds yeah, the gun yeah, up. Yeah. Shield holds like a little, pew, pew, little, little PB gun up. Pretty yeah. good. Which is, which is actually pretty good because he like you can't headshot him when he has his thing. I up. forgot his abilities though. That's how like I'll remember. What did he, what did he have? Repair nade, repair nade. Did he have a repair nade? I thought. Yeah, that was him. That was repair oh, nade. Oh, okay, okay. What was his ultimate? Repair... I, uh, the landmines. The landmines. The landmines. Yeah. That okay. That ultimate pretty good. Not go. That shit did too much damage. I loved I, in a good way because it's <laughs> the ultimate. But yeah. That's what, that's what I don't understand people complaining about ultimates either. Like, ultimates it's an ultimate for a reason, you yeah. know? You're ultimates only going to get one, game. depending if you're like a Joe Schmo, maybe one, possibly two a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're ultimates like an average in this game player, are actually pretty sick. So, yeah, like, I don't, people shouldn't complain about ultimates. They're an ultimate for a reason. Uh, The last two, Gundam Exia, who somehow 25% of people didn't play, even though he's like Order the Genjin, uh, the Genji, right? The ninja Gundam, like yeah, the, the cool Gundam. Almost like arguably one of the coolest. Probably one of the coolest designs. Yeah. And people just didn't play him. He has a 11.3, 6.2, bad, very <laughs> bad rating. Bad. Crazy. Yeah, crazy ratio right there. Do you know, most likely is they don't. They probably just couldn't hit their, their projectiles because he does have a projectile. It's not his skin. I think where. Pale Rider's ultimate is so mm. good. Super Gundam good. Exia's install super is a little bit more complicated, right? Yeah. Where he doesn't not, get better yeah. knife damage it's, on his throws. Yeah, his abilities him. get better. <laughs> he's just yeah, yeah. He's just him. <laughs> he's just him on on uh I'm on like, MDMA. Like some some, some illegal substance. <laughs> yeah, that man got he don't have oil going through his veins. <laughs> uh, Murasai, no more. more people played uh, Murasai than they did Exia. That's that's wild. Bad, very bad rating. Very similar to Exia. Mm -hmm. Character wasn't good. I felt like he should have fit into a tank role. There was yeah. only there, there like was only the only tank in the game is Sazabi. It was Sazabi. That's like it. Like there's not a lot of 
straight yeah, so, tank characters. Yeah, Marsai, I don't know what the hell his... I don't know where his flex pick comes in. He doesn't really do yeah. anything. I feel like if they make Marisai, Suzabi, and like, again, what's the other one? It's like kind of a tank. Dom. They like made those Dom three. Dom could definitely, I could see Dom as a chunky yeah, if boy. they made those three like a straight chonk character with more health, maybe like slightly, you know, just tweaked a little bit. I, I think like more gunners better. would be coming out for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah there's definitely going to be more. I just, at least I'm pretty sure. I hope there is, you know. Yeah, unless they pull a Halo Halo Infinite where they don't release any content for <laughs> six months, but that's fine. So yeah, so that's those are all the units in the game. Uh, very. Some people the left reviews. some reviews, right? People, I like mm -hmm. the dash system. It adds speed to the gameplay. I think the dash yeah, system, that is, is, dash system is pretty cool. Uh, this like one that. is a joke. Somebody thought it would be funny to say this. It seems unfair that Gundam Barbados can be can be defeated using a single combo. I don't know who the hell is killing Barbados in a single combo. Um, Barbados is the one killing you in a single combo. I'll tell you that mm -hmm. right now. The but, person you're... People you're killing in a single combo is like... People like Exia. He has... For some reason, he has less health than Barbados, which I never understood. I think Exia is at 800. Barbados is at 1K. Yeah. So... I mean, so Barbados should be the one... I'm not going to argue him having 800. But I will argue that he should be able to be somewhat easy to kill, you know, just somewhat because he is a powerhouse. Yeah, you know? he's a, a glass cannon. Like that's just a balancing thing. Like you need all your powerhouses to have some sort of, you know, counter. Sazabi is going to be people that can take his shield away, whatever. You know, he doesn't have to be killed super fast. But Barbados in particular, there, I don't think anyone should be complaining that he can be killed somewhat easily you know what i mean especially since he has so much mobility if you die that's that's on you <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you, no i feel you yeah die in barbados that's on you dude so these, these next two things i'm going to read is people who have never played a video game a day in their life mm -hmm. i somehow got access to this beta test is gm sniper 2 is too powerful once again the developers talked about it he's a sniper that's his thing right He's, he's, mm. he, he does headshots. Yeah, he's and supposed then, to take Sus And then Sasabi, being the only tank in the game, is Sasabi's resistance is too high. Uh, there's like three characters that counter Sasabi. Um, mm. As well as his gun only has seven bullets. It takes like three years to <laughs> yeah. reload. He only has <laughs> one dash. Uh, uh -huh. You know, he, he if you attack him I two think... on one, there's a high chance. Yeah, yeah high chance. That you'll but, at least take a good chunk of his health off. If not, but, then kill yeah, him. I don't, there's only one tank and there's one sniper. And they're talking about the sniper's too good and the tank's too tanky. It's like, yeah, that's like, that's why you pick them. You know, there's no yeah. there's no and other that's tank. Only, yeah, and that's only if you're using that character to their the fullest, if not yeah. very close to fullest potential. You can 100% pick Sazami and get slammed because you're just bad with him. You know what I mean? So, uh... This is yeah, people hard, so. <laughs> people just don't understand game balance, you know. Like yeah. the reason why we could like complain about Barbados is because he can one shot Sasabi, which is the only tank, right? He can one shot mm. everybody and then jump away for free, right? That's just a little weird, <laughs> right? Now GM Sniper can't headshot everybody, correct? Yeah, he can't. He can't headshot Sasabi. He yeah. can't headshot anyone that's like too stuff. I don't think. Isn't it? Who it's has was it twelve hundred? Yeah, twelve hundred. Is one point two k? So, you know, so any of the gun because there's multiple guns with shields in the game, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter with Barbados because when he hits you with the first stun, it puts your shield down and then he insta kills you, right? Yeah. So, that that's uh that's why Barbados is a little bit, yeah, whatever. But overall, the rules, the game modes in this game are great, in my opinion. Oh yeah, there's three great. game modes: point capture, domination, and destruction. All really good. All really fun. All really good. Mm -hmm. The maps were nice. Were all fun. The maps were nice. They um, were all nice. Yeah. And there's always there's good spots in every map too. Like there's not I think they they did good on the map design. You know what I mean? There's just, there's it's always like a I don't know. I, I just think that they did good on the maps. Like there's like a good diversity. Like they don't they're not really repetitive. Yeah. Some of them are a little bit smaller than others, but it's like it's fine. I never you, had a complaint. There's no map to where you hold Feel one bad. angle or you hold one angle and you win right yeah like it's yeah, very yeah, yeah. 
It's good. Or like there's, uh, you know, like when you play certain games, you get a certain map, and you're like, oh. you know what I mean? Like you just, yeah, uh, map sucks. You know, I just don't like it. Every single map in this game, I'd never had nice. that. I was like, oh, I get to play this again. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, <laughs> I it's actually like, enjoyed it. They're all, yeah, the, the map, the like, that's the last thing on your mind. You just you. You mostly look at the game mode, and you're like, okay, cool game mode. You never pay attention to the map, because all the maps yeah. are good. You're like, oh, okay, got this map. Got the, the moon map. the game modes are good, too. They were thought out. They were really thought out. The point capture, if you capture the main point again, they have to capture that again. Like, I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Like, a good addition. Like, every game mode was actually fun to play. The domination the was... It's not like normal domination where you hold A, B, and then spawn camp them at C. It's it goes from either mm -hmm. A, B, or C, and you honestly have to move around the map. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite was destruction. Destruction was great, especially at the last like ten there. seconds <laughs> when everybody's just like they don't care yeah. about dying. It's like either we gotta disarm the bomb or we gotta arm the bomb right yeah. now. <laughs> destruction was there. good. I loved it. Yeah. And the, the best part is that even some maps where on destruction or point capture, right, the enemy might have a really good, like, first initial push. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, they, they take it and they have, like, eight minutes. But then you're able to actually defend the second point adequately for eight minutes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you'll, or you'll, you know, of course you can still lose. But it was like, yeah. even if you it lost was... early in the beginning, if you picked it up at the end, you can, you can actually still win. I would say which is how like 50 if not like 40 percent of the games went in general like you would just get slammed on the first initial point but then you'd stick this last point for like six eight minutes you know what i mean just I'm just crying <laughs> you know just, just, <laughs> just hold the line yeah <laughs> everyone's switching character just switch to barbados really quick <laughs> yeah exactly board, you know? <laughs> no, yeah yeah we need a barbados we need a barbados <laughs> <laughs> get the hell off of fucking Yeah. Get, get the hell off, off of fucking uh <laughs> Methus. <laughs> get the turret down. Why the hell are you on Methus? <laughs> For the turret, that's it. That's yeah. the turret. <laughs> Turns in the worst spot. Yeah, it's just in the smack middle of the fucking point. <laughs> he's healing he's healing the Dom. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Gundam tanks stuck on the stairs. Um, no, uh, okay. Yeah, but overall, people liked it. There was extra time. The extra time was very good. Uh, some people said the rules weren't clear to all players. Mm. Uh, highly, uh, I don't I, know. I don't know. I don't know. How are you, how are you still alive then? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. How did you request? <laughs> how did pretty... you log on to Steam, search Gundam <laughs> Evolution, request access to the network oh, test, man. check your email, <laughs> install the game? And you don't know these three basic game yeah, modes. It right? says it on your screen. Like, it's a big-ass highlight point. Like, go there. Right. Do Maybe, it's... like, the first game, you're like, what do I do? Yeah, and then the on? second game, you're like, oh, okay. It's point capture. I yeah. capture the point. It's domination. Oh, like, I capture the point. It's destruction. I me, blow up the bomb. For me, it's like my first two or three games. I was, like, I fully understood. You know, if not, like... If you can't get a hold of what to do with them, like the first five games, I. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I don't know probably, those are the on. those are the people saying Barbados is bad. Those are the yeah. people. Those are the people. Those this are the Goombas man, this man, just, this man just, just this man just snitched himself out. <laughs> this is the man that said Bethus is top tier. Found him. Uh, but this this last one was actually pretty good. Um, I like a mode in which I can study the maps at my own pace. I think that's actually useful. Uh, yeah, you know, you go into a private game, map. Like, you look yeah. because on the moon map, you might not know at first that the left side of like right where you spawn or the right side, I guess, if you're coming mm -hmm. on attackers where you jump down the cliff, there's no yeah. way back up. The moment you jump, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm actually you're stuck done. down here. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And you jump down, then there's a guess who's right around the corner. Building there. You gotta, you gotta guess, who, guess who's right around the corner. <laughs> guess who's right around the corner. Charged up. Charging it up. Methus. Uh, so this one we're just going to briefly talk about uh, the customization options, weapon skins, unit skins, stamps, and icons, ornaments, MVP. This is all just extra stuff that personally doesn't take away or add to the game. Some of the skins were cool in my opinion. Some of the skins were kind of basic. The game's not out. They have more seasons. Yeah, the they have more out. Gundams yeah. to add. The cool skins were cool and the Very boring cool. skins were boring. 
Like, you know, they have the potential yeah, to make cool skins. They did the skins. job. They did the job. Exia's legendary skin. Super you know, cool. Sasabi's legendary skin. Cool. Uh, uh, turn A's legendary skin. Not the, not he the coolest. A, he had one? The, the hexagons. The nano oh, skin. Oh, yeah, the, the nano skin. Yeah, that, <laughs> not cool. Skin. Not, not good. Uh, stamps, <laughs> icons, ornaments, those. Ornaments I, I, cool. I, yeah, ornaments, like, uh, no, you can take them or leave them. One. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can take I'm not one. paying attention to my ornaments. I don't care that much. Uh, but the MVP, pretty sick. This game, like Overwatch and Call of Duty these days. You know, if you do the mm -hmm. best, you get a little, you get a little cutscene, and that's yeah. it. They don't I show you. Do they show the I gameplay? I don't remember them showing the gameplay. Yeah. They do? No, 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 they didn't. It was like a little intro. Okay. They didn't show you yeah. like what you did. It was just like, here you go. Here's yeah, your they show like a little action moment. sequence cutscene yeah. which, of your Gundam doing cool things. But I don't mind. Cool. They can yeah. implement the gameplay or not. It's still a really good feature, and I love it. I thought, yeah, you know, some of them were really cool. Sazabi's flying in the air, you know, mm -hmm. GM snipers, like visor comes down. I thought yeah. it was pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. uh, very people said the same thing, right? They want to see more. And they, they did talk about this on, on their Twitter. Which is they're gonna make more skins from the anime, right? They're gonna bring in because uh, in the anime there's a lot of Gundams, but they a have a bunch of variants. Yeah. yeah, bunch of like, oh, there's a snow mission. Now he's decked out in freaking white or some shit. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> totally like Gundam yeah. had the G3 skin, right? The original mm -hmm. from the anime, the G3 Gundam skin. So they had that. Uh, game data. So, so these are the top units. Number one being Pale Rider, two Sasabi, three Barbados, four Zaku, two. Who I don't even think we talked about when we were talking about the overview of the characters. That's how forgettable <laughs> this character is. I gotta lie. You gotta fight 20 Zaku twos to get the gun tank. Um, and then Gundam five, and then obviously six to fourteen being this. The only reason why Mathus is so high up is because he's the only healer in the game, and I feel like that's why people chose him. But well, like God. designated healer. Yeah. Like, there's other ways you can heal in the game, but Pale Rider like heals. Only. Which is why he's so yeah, good. he's like the only designated healer. So overall, though, this you know this is what just what people picked the most, right? There's not really much we can say, right? These mm -hmm. are just what people picked, right? People like Pale Rider; he's the classic guy. Sabi's the tank. Barbados is the only one without a gun, right? Which makes him different. Yeah. And then Zaku Two and Gundam are like classic anime staples. So you know, people probably be like, oh, I know this Gundam from the anime. I'll pick this Gundam. He is a it's a cool gun. It's a cool Worst yeah, character cool though. Morisai, turn A, GM, bottom three. It'd be mm -hmm. like that. You know, like it like we said. Okay. They don't really <laughs> compared to the other characters, they don't they don't bring much to the table, I feel like. But they're getting yeah. changed. They're getting changed. They're gonna get better. These numbers are are uh, here to change. Top one hundred players. As you can see, there is a shift. Uh, number big, one being big. Sasabi, two Barbados, three Gundam, four Pale Rider, five Exia, six GM. If you look at my tier list video, which is, uh, you should go click that, uh, link will be in the description. Remind me to put that in the description. Um, <laughs> this is, we, these are like the six best characters in our opinion on our <laughs> tier list. These were the six yeah, I mean, the best characters. The only reason why Gundam was in the very bottom was because we thought he needed a slight tweak with this gun. Yeah. In terms of like ammo or like fire type. Other than that, we would have put him in solid, if not high. Meta. We would put him in meta. Yeah. Because he's really... Cause these he's characters like a are good. To All these... Now, as you see, Mathus dropped a few. Right? Mathus, yeah, Mathus dropped, dropped a few. few. Yeah. Uh, turn A, Murasai, Gun Take, GM, bottom four. That didn't change, mm -hmm. right? Top top players ain't picking them, and even the casuals ain't picking them, right? So, I think this data shows that Bandai Namco, like, hey, we got to... Which is what they're doing, yeah. right? With turn A and, and Murasai, they're, that, like, yeah. they're making them better. Because they, because mm -hmm. both these datas have Murasai 14, turn A Gundam 13. Top 100, turn A Gundam 14, Murasai 13, right? They're, they're bottom two. They are committed to the bottom two. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Uh, one, you'll notice that there's no Mathus here. These are the top 10 players' rankings and ranked. This is what they picked. Number one was a Dom Trooper. That's kind of surprising. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Two Sasabi, three and four were both a GM sniper. Five was a Barbados. Six and seven were both Gundam. Eight was a Barbados. Nine, once again, shocker, was a Dom. And ten was an Asimar. Even more shocker. Which, that's that's crazy. 
because you don't see uh you don't see no pale riders right but if you look up here yeah, you don't see pale rider. rider was the number fourth top pick in the top 100 right zaku 2 was number seven and dom out of the top 100 players was number eight we get yeah. number one player Highly in the world was a dom. i think it's because those people like they found the gun or like just like the perfect combination yeah, they, of like oh yeah this is great for me they found what they, they like. Dominated with they it. Found what yeah. they like. Now, granted, of course, this is my bias. Personally, I didn't think Don was that good, but you know, there, you, there's always something I, I don't know, right? Yeah, there's there's always, always something. Always someone that's crazy insane with something. I didn't see a good Dom. I didn't think Dom could have been <laughs> yeah, good. I didn't see, I didn't a, good see a good Dom, right? So, <laughs> but apparently, maybe one of his moves is just broken and nobody picks him because he looks like an NPC. But, mm -hmm. uh, so. This is the last thing, uh, which is the breakdown of players by rate. As you can see, majority of these people were 1900 to 2050. Uh, being majority of the players, Crazy. very few below on 1850. <laughs> we were in the 21, 2150 range. So we were in the top seven to 5% of the player base because we're actually good at video games. And we're going to go pro. Just wait on that. Uh, but yeah, as this is what I'm saying, right? So a lot of these people who ranked worse, because you start at 2,000, right? Yeah, when you, you start, when you start the game. So all these people oh, ranked before <laughs> 2,000, technically never won a game. I feel like I feel like they, everybody below 2,000, which is the highest percent of the 1950 being the 31 percent of players, they lost more than they won. And the people yeah, in the 2000s lost the same as they won. 2050 barely won 21 to 2150 won quite a bit because you only get like six or seven points when you when you win if i remember yeah, right. you don't get very many points you don't get that many points it's actually but like i don't really mind because i mean i don't i, don't, I mean i don't know yeah, i can't it's a good assume grind. yeah I just, yeah it's a good grind it's a good grind but I, you know so all this data right of barbados being bad and all this right it's people majority mm -hmm. of the people didn't win casual. majority of their games right these are people <laughs> who casual. who yeah who are the definition of casual right they, they play the game because they like gundam or they play the game because maybe they they like overwatch and they just or maybe they play the game because it was in because it was a free network test right you don't know yeah never know so you know you always they gotta hold that, that good but Bandai Namco yeah. sees through their sees through their gimmicks. They're like, we're not changing Sniper, right? We're not changing them, <laughs> right? We're not changing Barbados that much. We'll make them a little bit worse, you know. Like, st stop it, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll fix what's broken, but everything right now is according to plan, and majority of the players yeah. agree with that, with the good average and the very good um, mm -hmm. things, right? So these are and this is crazy good. I mean, this is like. A network test yeah. and it's, it's this good like even playing the network test as much as i did it felt like a fully released game it like felt not, great it the felt net code like was a completely great. match polished was game great. yeah it, i didn't i didn't dc once i didn't crash once either yeah i didn't so crash people one have time. potato computers yeah so it, it was it was great you know it, it didn't it felt like a literal game that i paid for like a 60 dollars game and i was like oh yeah I'm but Kojin, did you know that this game will be free to play when it comes out oh <gasps> free oh, to play no. <laughs> free to play but we're about to eat good baby we're about to have that all the everyone should oh. have no problem with installing this game and playing it for yourself because it is a great game and you should all pick methus and ask him yeah <laughs> Yeah, make yeah, the yeah. top most big played character yeah, yeah, yeah. by sortie time with this. <laughs> just, just, just for the meme. Uh, so but that's gonna go has to plaster Methus on the top. But no, that's gonna do it though. Thank you everybody though for tuning in for the video and watching all the way through. And if you're still here, hit the subscribe button because you clearly like the content if you're still here. Gundam content is gonna be coming more as well as more content from the Twitch over the summer, which is always Always good. More Always gameplay great. from Don't Starve Together. We're going to be starting that playthrough pretty soon. It's going to be great. And if you like uh, Methus, leave a comment down below. I actually want to I actually wanna know. But make sure to check out the Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Arroyo. Uh, check out the Instagram, official Arroyo. Leave a like. And I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya. Say bye, Koji. Bye. Bye.